Here's what I'm going to show you how to build today. We're on a website. If we refresh this website, we saw a little flash of loading there, a loading animation. That was a little bit longer. So this site loads pretty quickly, so we don't see too much of it. If you go to any page, you'll see this loading animation. And this is built right into Elementor Pro. So if you have Elementor Pro, you're ready to go with this, with what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. If you don't have Elementor Pro yet, I have another video that shows you how to do something similar without a plugin. I'll link to that on the card up above and the description down below. But if you want to get Elementor Pro to have this built right into Elementor, then click the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you end up buying through that link, I do get credit for that. Elementor gives me a commission, but it does not make it more expensive for you. It helps you keep making these videos for free. So how do we build this in Elementor? Well, let's close out of there. Let's go into the dashboard. Actually not. Let's go to edit with Elementor and edit page. Edit any page on your site because it's in the site settings, it's global settings. So if I click on the hamburger icon, go to site settings, go to page transitions, we have preloader right here. And it shows us a little preview of the animation. This wasn't showing earlier, so I guess maybe you have to reload this page to see the preloader animation. And you can change the size, make it bigger, because it's pretty small if you put it way down here. There's a bunch of different animation options, as you can tell. Click through all those to see the one you like. The duration makes the animation shorter or longer. Let's do the pulsing dots, actually bouncing. Reduce the size. So if you go really short for animation time, it looks kind of goofy. If you go too long, it might also be a little goofy. So pick the animation time that you think looks about right for what you need. There's also a delay. So you don't have to have the preloader go right away when the site loads. It could be after this many milliseconds, or you could choose seconds, or you could predefine an amount rather than choosing on the slider. You also predefine an amount right here, so I don't know why they have that extra option. You usually do not want a delay for your preloader because you wanna, want people to know right away that something's loading, something's happening. And also, if you go too long for the preload, this back to milliseconds, that's what I'm used to. Uh, your site should be loaded in under two seconds. Two seconds should be the longest that your site's loading. So why put a delay? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me to have that option, but it's there. The color is the color of the preload animation. You can choose whatever color you want. You can also choose an icon. Got a spray can in here. You can choose anything from the icon library, stopwatch. You can add some animations to it. You can make it bounce. You can change the duration, delay, color, and size just as before. But instead of having predefined animations, you could use an icon and set your own animations. You also have an image. This could be any image in your media library. Let's put this guy in there. Looks pretty fun. We can have it animate. Let's not do rubber band. And we can preload. We can change the width of the image to make it just the right size. You could even have an image that says at the bottom, it could say website is loading right now. So you could, you could have text written on there to let people know it's an actual preloader. And this ugly orange color in the background we change that under page transitions. So you could have this whatever color you want. You could maybe change the opacity so you could see the website loading in the background, maybe, as it comes in, but uh, I don't know. You also have a gradient in the background. That's pretty cool. Let's put the opacity back up. The gradient looks pretty nice with some appropriate colors to kind of match the, the doggy there. And there you go. That's all the options for the preloader built into Elementor. The big drawbacks that I see with this, if we head back out to the main website, what I like is that it loads when you load the homepage or any page on the site. When someone comes from anywhere on Google, anywhere on any search engine or social media, that will preload to make sure your site's loaded before it just shows a blank page. It shows you a preload. But this happens on every single page now. 
So every page we go to, it has this preload option. And you can't turn that off if you're building it right into Elementor like we did using the Elementor preloader option. If you use the custom code option that I mentioned earlier that I have in a different tutorial, you can set specific pages that that will happen on the preload. You can have it only on your home page if you want. Ideally, it will be on any page to visit the first time, but the code is not that smart either. So preloading is actually a pretty difficult thing to do. And this is the Elementor preloader. So if you want to use the Elementor preloader, this is how you do it. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And then check out this video right here, which shows you how to create a Lottie preloader for your website with code that is used inside of Elementor. It might sound confusing, but I'll show you how it all works right here. And Lotties are super cool animations that have its preloaders. So make sure you check that out. Right there.